Hello and welcome back to Gadget Joe and today we're taking a look at the outrageously stunning Z370 Gaming Pro Carbon AC by MSI. Opening the box, you are presented with the board itself, contained in an anti-static bag. Underneath the board, you take out the upper box to reveal a whole plethora of accessories. Starting off with the usual user guide and quick installation guide, we then get a DVD containing the drivers and utilities needed for starting up. The rear I.O. panel, which is actually covered in a thin foam layer of plastic on top, matches the red and black theme and it certainly looks the part with clear labelling for the ports a nice added feature right out of the box is the standalone PCIe Wi-Fi adapter, complete with antennas for improved wireless connectivity. Use the included USB patch cord too and you'll get Bluetooth capabilities as well. There's an SLI high bandwidth bridge card included too for Nvidia GPUs, complete with the MSI Dragon logo in grey. You also get a multitude of SATA cables, RGB extension cables and fan extensions. MSI have been relatively generous in the included goodies within the box so you shouldn't really need too much more to get yourself going. The Carbon Pro AC is certainly one of the nicest looking boards on the market. Not only does it look good but it performs well too. Starting off with the aesthetics, we have a striking black and grey colour scheme with lots of chrome silver accents found across the board with some subtle hints of red. Moving to the heat shrinks and armour, you are presented with the same black and grey but also a panel coated in a carbon fibre design. The Carbon Pro follows the standard ATX measurements. The LG1151 socket will fit 6 and 7 gen CPUs, however due to the internal workings of the board, it is in fact only limited to 8th gen Coffee Lake CPUs, so earlier gen models just simply won't boot up. There are 4 DDR4 dim slots to the right, these are all shielded for extra strength and durability using MSI Steel Armor. For up to 4000 MHz plus memory with DDR4 boost built in for high performance memory capabilities and except Further down the board, you have the M.2 slot located just underneath the CPU socket. The slot comes with its own hinged heatsink that keeps your drive cool. It also has three mounting holes for different sized drives. Moving down once again to the lower half of the board, you have dual PCIe 16 slots with the same MSI steel armour for maximum strength and protection. There are also three PCIe 1 slots and a further PCIe 8 slot at the bottom with a second M.2 slot between this and the lower 16 slot. Along the bottom of the board you have multiple connections for USB headers, SATA connectors, audio, LED and fan headers as well as RGB LED headers for use with the inbuilt Mystic Light Sync which allows full control of the LEDs on the rear and the front of the board. What's more is that there are three pin headers for both general RGB strips and rainbow strips to further customise your build and theme. Mystic Light can of course be controlled via software or a mobile device and benefits from 17 effects with just one click. To the bottom left of the board, you have a dedicated audio panel with a high definition ALC1220 audio processor. To the right side of the board, you have the standard 24 pin ATX power connector and a further host of USB 3 and 3.1 high speed SATA pump and system fan headers. The rear I.O. comprises of two USB 2 ports with a PS2 port on top, display ports and HDMI, two Lightning USB 3.1 Generation 2 ports with one Type-C connector with a further four Gen 1 3.1 USB ports and five gold-plated optical audio connectors alongside the traditional MSI Gigabit Ethernet port. And that pretty much brings us to the end of our relatively detailed overview of the MSI Gaming Pro Carbon AC Z370 motherboard and it certainly didn't disappoint with striking good looks, high performance connectivity and boosts across the board. Overclocking is super easy and the added security of a steel armour and high quality components 
make for a premium experience. Customization is very easy to do also with Mystic Light and a whole plethora of LED connectors. There is even support for 3D printed accessories for further customization. What's more is that the board sits well under £200, fitting it well against its competitors with very good connectivity and upgrade options right out of the box. Be sure to subscribe to check out the next video which shows the board setup with benchmarks and results whilst running the i7-8700K which you've seen in this video earlier. If you liked this in-depth overview then don't forget to leave a thumbs up and once again thank you to MSI for sending it over. And until next time, it's goodbye from me.